Hmm. Let me say this, and I am not trying to offend anyone. I don't wake up and think about, hmm, let me see how I can offend someone. I don't do that. That is crazy. <laughs> I believe that we all have been hurt in some way or some form. Some people choose to hold on to their hurt, to their anger, to their pain, to their unforgiveness. Not only that, but they choose to pretty much punish other people for what happened to them back when they were younger. We have to understand that is evil. That is so wrong. That is so unnecessary. Don't you know that you are going to reap whatever you sow? When you do evil, evil has no other choice but to come back to you. When you curse a person, <laughs> when you curse a person, don't you know curses have to come back to you? Maybe three or four years ago, Around the time when I said to myself, look, I am going to get serious with God now. No more playing around. Perhaps one or two weeks into that, I met this woman online and we would have casual conversations maybe after a few days I forget it was coming to me <clears throat> in a very strong way this woman is a witch so I would ask her are you a witch and she got somewhat angry and asked me why I would think that and stuff like that. But it kept on coming to me. This woman is a witch. So I continued to ask her over and over and over and over. And she would get really angry or play like she was angry. But finally, at the end, she told me, yes, okay. I believe that there were things she told me that is true. I believe too, or I know, she lied to me so much. So, when I found out that she is a witch, I started to tell her about God. Like, so much. <laughs> Almost every conversation, I was telling her about God. And after a while, she got really, really mad at me. And yes, I believe she was doing things to me to try to harm me, even though I still wanted to help her. I believe this, and I can be wrong about this. I believe that because of God, I believe he gave me compassion for her. So even when 
I was informed that she was doing things to me, I was still willing to try to help her. Anyways, I believe not only one time, but let me talk about this one time. I was pretty much telling her, don't you know that messing with witchcraft, doing spells, astral projecting, and all that demonic stuff, don't you know that you are going to reap whatever you sow? Don't you know that if you die in sin, doing witchcraft, you can't get to heaven, that you are going to hell. And pretty much she told me that she doesn't care. What? But you went through so much pain back when you were younger. And because of that pain, you turned to witchcraft. You are doing things to people now because of your pain. You are the way that you are now because of your pain. What do you mean you don't care? That is a lie. And I still pray for her now. I don't talk to her now, but I pray for her now. I try to pray for her at least every day, almost. Some people say that they don't care if more bad things happen to them, but you do care because if you don't care, if you don't care about pain, you would not be doing what you are doing now. So you do care. Let someone tie you up and increase doing something to you that increases in pain every hour. And tell me if you still don't care. If you don't care about going to hell, try lighting yourself on fire and try that since you don't care. Many people aren't going to do that. So you do care. My point is you need to move on. Because the more evil that you are, the longer you are evil to people, the more pain you are going to receive. You are receiving much more unnecessary pain. We are going to feel pain on this earth no matter what. Why would you want to receive much more pain than what is required. Why even want to go to hell? Don't you know that hell is going to be worse than the pain that you are going through on this earth? But you are willing to do all of this because of some bad things that happened to you in your past. But you are going, I have heard some stories from some people that have went into witchcraft and done other bad things. Don't you know that they suffered greatly because of the things they chose to do? Yes, what happened to you may have not been your fault. But you choosing to be evil and do people wrong, you are going to suffer much more. 
ultimately going to hell if you choose to not change. It is not worth it. It is time to repent. It is time to give your life over to God. What do you have to lose? Things can only get better if you come to God. Think about that. God bless you.